My God is an awesome God. My God is a mighty God. My God is a powerful God. My God is great. My God is big. My God is stronger. My God. My God is the ruler of the universe. He is King of Kings. He is Lord of Lords. He is the great I am. My God. God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient, which tells me he's absolutely everywhere, which tells me he knows everything from the beginning to the end. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. He is a bigger than Corona. He is bigger than your current circumstance. He is bigger than your finances. He is bigger than your health. My God, he is, he is, he is, he is. My God, he is, he is, he is, he is, he is. He is. My God, who is he? My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. I hope, I hope this morning that you are shaking off um, you, everything. I hope this morning that you get up and you just begin to dec decree and declare God's awesomeness. That you just begin to say it through your house. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. That's your warfare this morning. My God is an awesome God. Be begin to declare it. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. There is no circumstance. There is no situation. There is nothing that supersedes God. There is nothing bigger than God. My God. I want to read something to you. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. He is, he is, he is stronger. He is mightier. He is bigger. He is greater than anything that you are facing. My God, you need to decree that today. My God, you need to declare that today. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God. God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being such an awesome God. Thank you for being greater than circumstances. Thank you for being greater than situations. My God, I thank you. My God, I bless you. My God, I glorify you, Lord God. You are such an awesome God. You are such an awesome God. Do you know that the great one lives inside of you? So when the great one lives inside of you, my God, you are able to triumph. You are able to overcome. You are able to move about freely. As a matter of fact, the word says, he who the sun sets Free is free indeed. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. Greater is he. The greater one lives inside of me. And Romans tells me that makes me more than a conqueror. That makes me more than a conqueror. That makes me more than a conqueror. That tells me that I can overcome. My God. God, that tells me that I can get through. My God, that tells me that I can stand back up. My God, as a matter of fact, the word says a just man falls seven times, but he gets back up up again. I dare you to decree and declare today I'm getting back up. My God, my marriage is getting back up. My God, my children is getting back up. My God, my purpose is getting back up. My God, I will get back up. I will not lay here and die. I will not just sit down. I will not just wither away. I'm not going to let my marriage fail. I'm not going to let my children fail. I'm not going to let my purpose die. I will not just wither up and die. No, I'm going to get up. <laughs> I'm going to get up. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to move. I'm going to walk forward. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. My 
God is an awesome God. I'm challenging you today. Get up, get up, get up. I'm challenging you today. Get up, get up, get up. Stand up in your purpose. Stand up in your righteousness. Stand up in the one true king. Stand up in the Lord of lords. Stand up in the king of kings. My God is an awesome God. My God is an awesome God. There is no circumstance. There is no situation. Don't you deviate from the plan. Don't you change. Don't you move around. Don't you change and switch positions with the enemy. No, God is the lifter of your head. God is the lifter of your head. God is the one that created you, that knew you in your mother's womb. My God, the great one lives inside of you. My God, the great one lives inside of you. My God, get up, get up. I want to read this to you. I want to read this to you. This is Exodus. This is the third chapter. My God, my God. And this is God talking to Moses. My God. And it says, therefore, now he's, he's put, he's, he's encountered him. Moses has encountered God. He's had this moment with God at the burning bush. He's had his defining moments with God. My God, I just decree and declare today that some of you will begin to have your defining. This is your, as a matter of fact, this, come on, Holy Spirit. This is your counter. This is your defining moment with God. This is the moment that you hear God. This is the moment that you become bold in God. This is the moment that you become established in God. This is the moment that you be concrete in your purpose. This is the moment that you will not waver anymore about who God is. So Moses has had this moments with God. Moses has had this encounter with God. Moses has actually been on a run. <laughs> Come on, Holy Spirit. Moses has actually been on the run. Moses has actually settled in another place. Mo Moses has actually played himself down. Moses has actually made himself significant, insignificant. Moses has actually positioned himself in a, le a lesser position because he was afraid of his past. He was afraid of what he has done. Moses has escaped the plan. But can I tell you, God met Moses right where he was. And God will meet you right where you are. My God, God met Moses right where he was. He didn't care that he had hid. He didn't care that he had shepherded. He didn't care what he was doing. He didn't care. He met him exactly where he was. He still foreknew Moses. He still had caused, called Moses to be deliverer. He still had a plan for Moses. He still had purpose for Moses. Even though Moses had ran, even, even though Moses was hiding, God still had purpose. So this was a defining moment. So Moses meets God at the burning bush. Go, Moses meets God in holy ground. And this is what I love. I want to get to Exodus the third and the tenth verse. It says, therefore it came now. My God. Therefore it came now. Somebody said, therefore came now. My God, not later. Not later. Not when I feel like it. There came now my God and I'm here to tell you and I'm not just saying this your time is now this is your defining moment what are you waiting for God has already given you the wisdom God has already given you the knowledge God has already given you the instructions therefore your time is now it says therefore came now <laughs> therefore come now this is what he told him he said come now I'm sorry he says therefore come now I saw that different I hear you Holy Spirit and I will send you to Pharaoh and then before my people the children of Israel out of Egypt a now moment the, a now moment he says therefore come now therefore come now we're gonna put it in the present my God I hear you Holy Spirit and I will send you to Pharaoh and then bring my people the children of Israel out of of Egypt. Moses had an assignment. You have an assignment. I don't care if the assignment is to your family. I don't care if the assignment is to your church. I don't care if the assignment is to a ministry that does not have your name on it. This is your therefore now moment. Therefore now come now. Come now. And he says the children of Israel out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, my God, my God. And so many of us say this. 
So many of us say this. So many of us think it's about us, but it is not about us. It is about the greater one that lives inside of us. And the spirit of the Lord sent me to encourage you today to therefore come now. Therefore. For come now, therefore get back up, therefore you can't afford to lay dormant anymore, therefore you cannot afraid to be afraid anymore, therefore your time and your season is now. So he says to him, he says, but Moses said to God, who am I? And I hear so many of us asking the same thing. Who, who am I? Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? Who am I that God called me to this ministry? Who am I that God called me to this marriage? Who am I that God called me to this business? Who am I that God called me to this position in military? My God, this is the level up. My God, this is the level up. Who am I that God called me to this? Who am I? Who am I? This is what he says. He says, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and I should bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? And this is what, and God said, you ought to type that. And God said, this is God speaking. And God said, see, we get so caught up in us. We get up so caught up in our abilities. We get so caught up in our talents. We get so caught up in what we feel are the things that define the call on our life or define getting us in position and so we scramble for certification and we st st scramble for degrees and we scramble for appointments at tables but this is what God said and God said I gotta type that in the comments and God said Moses says who I am and God said certainly <laughs> Somebody defines certainly for me. He said, and certainly, he said, and certainly, come on now, and certainly, and certainly, certainly means undoubtedly, certainly means definitely, certainly means surely, certainly means unquestionably, certainly means I'm beyond question, beyond anything that you could ever ask or imagine. It says, and God said, Certainly I'll be with you. <laughs> Certainly I'll be with you. Certainly I'll be with you. Certainly I'll be with you. This is not time, speak Holy Spirit, for you to shrink back. This is not time for you to lay dormant. This is not time for you to hide yourself. This is, this is not time. Your gift is trying to make room for you. Your gift is trying to move, move you in front of millions. Your gift is trying to divinely position you in a marriage that you don't even think you're worthy of having. My God, I feel you in the room. My God, my God, I feel your presence in the room. My God, I feel your bigness in the room. My God, I feel your strength in the room. My God, I feel your glory in the room. My God, let your glory arise. And serve something that you don't even feel worthy of. Something that you don't even feel like you should have. Something that you don't even feel like you should be positioned in. But you forgot that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Then greater is he that is in you. You ought to type that. The great one lives in me. The great one lives in me. The great one lives in me. The great one lives me in me. And certainly, he said, I will be with you. And this shall be the sign. Glory to God. 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 He said, and this shall be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have been brought the people out of Egypt, you shall serve and worship God at this mountain. My God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. He said, and this shall be the sign that you shall serve and worship God at this mountain 
on the mountain. You shall serve and worship God. He said, then Moses said to God, behold, when I come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your father's ancestors has sent me to you. And they say to me, my God, my God, here's your clearance. Here's your clearance. Here's your passport into other countries. Here's your clearance to start the business. Here's your clearance to move about freely. Here's your clearance to walk into the fullness of who he called you to be. Here's your clearance for the marriage. Here's your clearance for the marriage. Here's your clearance for the marriage. This was what you've been waiting for. This was the answer. This is what you needed today. Here's your clearance to start the business. I hear you, Lord. Here's the clearance for the marriage. I hear you, Lord. He says, then Moses said to God, behold, when I come to the Israelites and say to them, the God of your father answer has sent to me. My God, I just keep hearing in my spirit. I want to be starting something. God is starting something in you. The fan is being flamed in you this morning for you to get back up, for you to be initiated, for you to start. My God, and the sign is going to be you're going to worship him on this mountain. It's greater. It's greater. It's greater. It's bigger. It's more. You can't afford to wait any longer. You can't afford to wait any longer. You can't afford to be hesitant. You can't afford to be dormant. You can't afford to stand still. My God in the name of Jesus. He said this Moses said, Behold, the God of your fathers and ancestors has sent me. And they say to, the, to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? My God, God is so gangster. God is so big. God is so intentional. He says, God said to Moses, God is speaking again. God is speaking again. God is speaking again. God spoke. God still speaks. God is speaking to us today. And God said to Lakeisha. And God said to Jessica. And God said to Jeanette. And God said. And God said. And God said. It says God said to Moses, I am who I am. God, God's so gangster. God's so in intentional. God so exacting. He said, I am who I am. And you can put whatever he is to you there. And you can put every name of God in there. He says, I am that I am. I am omnipotent. I am omniscient. I am Jehovah Nisi. I am Jehovah Shema. I am Jehovah Gabor. I will go to war for you. I am Jehovah Jireh. I will provide for the vision. I will provide for your household. I will provide for your business. I will provide for your family. I am Jehovah Rapha. I am the one that will heal thee. I am the one that will take sickness out of the midst of thee. I am the one that will heal thy bread and thy waters. My God, I am the one that will transform you into the image of Christ. I am the one that put the burning frame in you. I am the one that called you. I am the one that will connect you. I am the one that will position you. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. I am who I am. I am who I am. I am nothing less. I am complete. I am great. I am bigger. I am stronger. I am more. I am intentional. I am the resurrecting power. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am who I am. I am who I am. I am intentional. I am a way maker. I am king of kings. I am lord of lords. I am the great I am. I am the one that positioned you. I am the one that called you. My God. He says, I am. He says, God says to Moses, I am who I am. He said, you shall say this to the Israelites. My God. If they ask you who sent you. If they ask you who called you, Mimi. If they ask you who, who appointed you for pharmacy. If they ask you who called you, Mimi. You tell them, I am sent me to you. You tell him, I am sent me to medicine, Julia. You tell him, I am sent me, Stephanie. You tell him, I am sent me, Keisha. You tell him, I am sent me, Jenny. You tell him, I am sent me, Sonia. My God, that's your calling card. That's your mark. That's the 
signature. That's who you are. You are, a, my God, you are made in the image of I am. That's what he told him. I'm closing on that. I don't even need to say anymore. I don't even need to elaborate it. You were looking for an answer. You were looking for a solution. You were trying to figure out if this was your time, if this was your moment, if this was your hour, you heard God pulling you. You heard God calling you. You heard telling God telling you it was greater. It was bigger. It was more. Here is your confirmation, baby. Here is your confirmation, baby. Here is your confirmation. I am has sent you. I am has sent you. The King of Lord, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the great I am. He has sent you. He called you. He's positioning you. He's divinely orchestrating your steps. My God, he is the way, the truth, and the life. My God, he is the way, the truth, and the life. My God, my God, my God, in the name of Jesus, my God, John 14, 6, Jesus answered, I'm the way, I'm the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. My God, he's divinely positioned you. Jesus already positioned you. My God, he already positioned you. I love when daddy talks to me like that. I love when he revs me up. Get up, get up, get up, and get into position. Stop making excuses, woman of God. Stop making excuses, man of God. Get up and get in a position. Stop doubting yourself. My God, you're only doubting God. Stop confusing yourself. Stop going back over it. Stop rereading it. It is the truth. It is the truth. I am called you to this. I am called you to this. I am sent you to this. This is is your defining moment. Don't worry about numbers. Don't worry about what they said. Don't worry about the, this your confirmation, baby. This your confirmation, baby. Don't spend time overthinking it. Just go, just run. And when you run, scream, I am sent me. My God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. I sense God divinely positioning you. I sense God divinely placing you. My God, when you get it, get up and run with it and say, I am sent to me. He is Jehovah Shema. He is all you need. Run your, wave your flag. Wave your banner. The God, the great I am is with you. My God, I thank you. My God, I thank you. My God, I glorify you. My God, I magnify you. I hear you, Holy Spirit. That's it. That's it. I hear you, Holy Spirit. That's it. My God, the encourager. Yeah, the lifter of your heads. The King of Kings. The Great I Am. The Prince of Peace. My Rose of Sharon. My God, I thank you. My God, I bless you. My God, I praise you. My God, I magnify you. I magnify. You may not have even thought it took all that. You may have said, she ain't have to talk like that. But sometimes God's got to rev you up. Sometimes God's got to push you out of position. Sometimes God's got to yell at you just a little bit because you've been asleep way too long. You've been dormant way too long. You've overthought way too long. You've considered this situ way, situation way too much. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to get in position. My God, you are the deliverer. My God, you are the change agent. My God, you are what they need. My God, they need to see you. You cannot afford for your light to be hidden anymore. You cannot afford to be in the shadows. You cannot afford to play yourself down any longer. Why? Because I am sent to you. I am sent to you. I am sent to you. I am sent you. The greater one lives inside of you. The greater one lives inside of you. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus. My God, I cover each and every person connected to this devotional. My God, I thank you that this is our defining moment. My God. Can I say the Holy Spirit? Yeah. This message may not have been for everyone, but for everyone that knows this is your message, this is your word, stand in this. Stand in this. God had to shake you up this morning. God had to rev you up this morning. He doesn't want you laying dormant anymore. So I'm covering you in the blood of Jesus that you will not back down, that you will not lay timid, that you will go big for God. The greater one lives inside of you. I'm covering your mind in the blood of Jesus. You've had enough mental attacks. I drive out every mental attack. Mental attack, cease, cease and desist. 
cease and desist. This is your order. You've been ordered, principality. Cease and desist today in the name of Jesus. My God, I thank you that your glory arise. My God, I thank you that your glory arise. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Let your glory arise. Let your glory arise. Let your glory. It does you no good to shrink back. It does you no good to not walk in position. Get in position for kingdom. Stop overthinking it. Stop overthinking it. Get in position for kingdom. The kingdom of God needs you so that it can advance. That's it. That's my final message. My God, I love you. My God, I love you. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. That's it. Look, if the Lord places it on your heart. If the Lord places it on your heart to partner with this ministry, ministry and give, go over to the website, click the donate button, but sow your seed, plant it into the kingdom of God. My God, I thank you. Give, 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 give. This is your opportunity. Give, 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 give. Also, you can cash app us. Dollar sign LMJ Ministry. You can give there as well. My God. Now, this is the biggest defining moment, the biggest decision that you will ever make. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, he is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life. He is the only way you can get to the Father. He is the only way you're going to be able to walk in your purpose. He is the only way that you're going to be able to walk in the fullness of who he called you to be it is it. There is no other. There is not all paths to God. There is not all paths to God. I don't know who told you that. There is not all. No, there's so many ways to God. No, there's not so many ways to God. The only way that you're going to get to God is Jesus. The only way you're going to get to God is Jesus. The only way you're going to get to God is Jesus. And so I need you to make the decision today. My God, repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I've sinned against you. I'm sorry for my sins. I ask you to come into my heart and take away my sins. I promise to love and follow you as best as I can. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. If you prayed that prayer, send us an email. Info at JustBeingLMJ.com. I would love to send you some materials so that we can continue to disciple you. You are not in this world alone. <laughs> you are not in this world alone. You are not in this world alone. You are not in this world alone. I promise you are. And there is nothing like Jesus. My God, there is nothing like Jesus. There is nothing like Jesus. My God, I love you. I love you so much. More than anything, God loves you that he sent me to, to you today. This is your come now. Therefore, come now. Therefore, come now. Therefore, come now in Jesus name. Amen. Therefore, come now. Come now. Come, come now. Come now. Come now, Jenny. Come now, Nisi. Come now, Shamika. Come now, Vanessa. Come now. Come now. Come now. Therefore, come now in Jesus name. Amen. My God. Today, 12 noon, if we'll be there, 30 minutes, devotional. If you're not in our group on Facebook, we are going through the book by Mark Batterson. We're going through if. So we'll be there today at 12 noon. I'll see you there at 12 minute noon. It's only a 30, 30 minute devotional. My God, my boy, Lord, anoint my vocal cords. My God, to perform to perfection in Jesus name. Amen. We have Feed the Streets this Saturday. If you would like to volunteer with Seat Feed the Streets, we would love to have you on the scene. We will be practicing COVID um, cleanliness. We will be practicing COVID cleanliness, but we still going to serve our brothers and sisters less fortunate than us. We have the NICU packages we need to put together. Go to the sign up link and sign up and become a part of the NICU so we can give these bags to the NICU. Um, we, you can make a cash donation to the children's home. You can make a cash donation just to the ministry. You can, you can do whatever it is. My God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for those that are planting. We thank you for those that are giving. We thank Thank you, Father God, those that are positioning themselves to make more impact for your glory. In Jesus' name.
name, amen. I love you, therefore come now. <laughs> therefore come now, my God, and she came. I just heard that in my spirit, and she came. May God get the glory out of your life. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I cancel every assignment of the enemy off your life. My God, I decree and declare that you get up and come now. <laughs> in Jesus' name, amen. I will see y'all Monday morning. 5 a.m. Invite somebody in. Share this word. Somebody needs to know that they're answered, that God answered them. This is how God answers a lot of times. Through in the word, through someone else. Through someone else. Share this word. Say, you know what? This is it. As a matter of fact, title it. <laughs> title it. Title it. Therefore, now come. This is your defining moment. Title it when you share it. This is your defining moment. I love y'all. Back in the morning. 5 a.m. Love, peace, and blessings. Y'all continue to pray my strength in the Lord. Yeah. And Lakeisha came. Thank you for that. In Jesus' name. Hey, one more thing. God told me to remind us all. We are a family. We are a family. He told me that the other morning. He said, y'all are a family. Y'all are a family. Y'all are a family. And I am knitting you 